When factorising an equation in order to solve it doesn't work, we're left with either using completing the square and then solving the equation, or we can use the quadratic formula. So in this video, we're going to be looking at how the quadratic formula is used. So first off, this is what the quadratic formula looks like. x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So that's the quadratic formula. And we're going to be looking at these two examples, okay, and solving both of these using that formula. So first of all, what you want to do for each one is to identify what is a, what is b, and what is c. a is the coefficient of x squared, so the number in front of the x squared, which is 1. b is the coefficient of x, so 7, and c is whatever you have left over, which is the minus 1. So in solving the first equation, we have x is equal to minus b, so minus 7, plus or minus b squared, which is 49, minus 4 times 1 times minus 1. Square rooted, all over 2a, so 2 lots of a, which is 2. So we want to be able to simplify this down. So we can write that as minus 7, plus or minus, well this is uh, 49 plus 4, so 53, so the square root of 53, all over 2. Okay, And that is as far as I can go with it, and I'm going to leave it in this format, because the square root of 53 can't be simplified. So that's the first one. So for the second, we're going to do exactly the same process. We're going to identify a, b and c. So a is 1, b is 10, c is minus 2. So x is equal to minus b, so minus 10, plus or minus b squared, so 100. Take away 4 lots of a times c. So take away 4 lots of 1 times minus 2 square rooted, all over 2a, which is 2 lots of 1. So let's simplify this as far as we can. We've got that minus 10, plus or minus, now we've got 100 plus 8, so 108, square rooted, all over 2. Okay. So then, we want to think, right, can we simplify this square root of 108? So 108, which square numbers can go into it? So 4 can go into it. Uh, 20, well, uh, 27 times. Okay? So 4 can go into it 27 times. Now, 27, can any square number go into that? Yes, it can. 9. So, that can be written as four, nines, 4 times 9 times 3. Okay, so 27 is 9 times 3. So that's 36 times 3. So 36 is the square number that also went into 108, which if you spotted it initially, uh, would save you this working out, by just showing you that that working out can be done. So this is equal to minus 10, plus or minus... Well, the square root of 108 is the square root of 36 times 3, so that's 6 root 3, all over 2. And then we can do minus 10 divided by 2 is minus 5, plus or minus 6 root 3 divided by 2 is 3 root 3. Okay? And that is how we can use our third knowledge to simplify one of these problems down. And that's how the quadratic formula can be used.